something more I love in this world than food. Not gonna lie, it's damn hot now. I don't know why I decided to come here at 3 o'clock in this pandemic and this economy. But I think I really needed this break because it makes me feel very much alive and I'm able to listen, be here, the beach, and just listen to nature and just be with myself. I think that's really, really nice. So I'm gonna eat my McDonald's and in front of me, there's some people that is doing like, I think it's called wave, wakeboarding? I wanna try that! We both went on a self-care date. Not together though. But the different parts of the island. But Botanic San Setosa. But it's the moment. We didn't even plan it. It was so cute. It's, it's the moment. We are the main characters. I don't know who you are but... Priscilla went on a self-care date today. So she's gonna show us her painting. It's just, it's just that someone's gonna bring my thing. Okay, so of course I drove my crocs. I'm not gonna lift up my crocs. This is a public space. <laughs> Nice place that I found in Botanic, so it's like in front of the pond, like one of the only places you can see around the pond, like the pond. Mm. And then there's that, it's a bit messy, I don't know. Then there's this cute kid, oh my goodness, he was just like standing behind me watching me draw for like the longest time. And then once he walked away, I was like, I have to draw him. Because he was, he's so cute! He wore this watermelon looking like, what's that, what's that um, character called? The... Xiao Xi Guang? No. Yeah, yeah, no, the... the... Yeah, I the, the watermelon helmet. And then, um... Is this turtle? Look, turtle. Turtle in the water. Focus on me. And yes. then the turtle came out. Aww. Yeah, thank you. And then there's this bird. This bird that kept chas chasing a turtle. The turtle very slow, cannot move, right? So I feel very bad for the turtle. But yeah, that's that. And then um, this very cute girl. She was like, she carried this like, soft toy around. And I was like, so cute. And I was like, okay, I have to draw her. And then, oh my goodness, then you know the bird watchers at Botanics, right? They have like giant ass Yes, cars. I love the uncle's there. Yeah, yeah, very cute. And he's I'm not very big, so I make sure they don't just come up. He's very cute. And then the last one is a dog butt. A what? A dog butt. Oh, a dog butt. I don't oh, even I can know see what. the tail is here. Yeah, and then you can see the, the little hole. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but just very fluffy. And then I wrote a letter to myself. Oh my goodness. Yay. Very tiny. So, yeah, it's for me to really let everybody in Botany Gardens know that I am a self independent. Self independent. I am artsy, fartsy. I know how to take care of myself. Woman in Fess. <laughs> I, want to, I want to go to Fess. If anyone from Fess is watching this, I want to go to Fess. Okay, we'll get you into Fess too. Yay! And in and, and and our cap. Thank you. Today I'm at the National Gallery Singapore because I'm taking myself on a solo date. I absolutely love going to art exhibitions so I thought that I will try going to one on my own. touring um, the National Gallery. I didn't really feel much inside there because I really wanted to appreciate the artwork and just the ambiance. It's super peaceful. I love it that people are just walking around and nobody's looking at you so you can just do your own thing. Um, so now I'm going to be attending the uh, Candlelight concert at the Victoria Concert Hall which is right across the street. They're going to be playing 
um, Taylor Swift songs but the classical version. I'm so excited! I'm such a huge Swiftie so I'll be attending that. It is at 6.30 and I'm not late so I'm going to cross the street and go to the concert hall. I just got my tickets. I'm so excited. Now I'm heading to the upstairs level. There's two levels actually. concert just ended and now I'm heading back um, to Kept. Uh, oh my gosh, this was the most beautiful concert that I have attended in my entire life. The vibes were so good. Um, the pianist, I think her name is Adriana, she really engaged the audience really well. Everybody was just singing to the Taylor Swift songs. I, I could have asked for a more splendid evening. Um, Gosh, insert clips, but oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. Um, like, everybody was just, I like, I was like literally bawling because it was so like beautiful and I, I loved it. I, I, <laughs> I don't even have words to describe how amazing it was. I'm just taking a romantic stroll by myself <laughs> to the MRT. Look at the view. It is the next day, so I really enjoyed myself at the, at the concert and I definitely recommend treating yourself one day to the Candlelight Concert by Fever. If the Fever team is watching this, please hit me up. Your girl loves to go for the concert. <laughs> I should definitely do more of these solo dates where I take myself out um, just to have a good time. I always had the perception that if I'm seen alone, if I am going to like a attraction alone or an experience alone, mm, it shows that I'm lonely. Or people might think that, oh, why is she alone? You know, how come she's not with somebody? But in reality, I realized that there is something very exciting about being alone. You know, you get to experience everything and you're able to connect with your emotions. And frankly speaking, I think it is a form of confidence, you know, to be comfortable with yourself, um, soaking in the vibes and really ref using this time to reflect on yourself. I think um, it is something that I want to do more often, especially if I want to take a break from socializing. I want to try to be alone, but never by myself. What I mean by that is I want to block out some time of my week to be with myself. That's a form of self-care. You know, it doesn't have to be going to a concert every week, but give myself some time to be alone, to reflect, um, but always go back and connect with others. You know, we are humans, we are sociable creatures, and I do think that being alone is great, but I will never want to be by myself. So that's my experience on my solo date. I definitely recommend, and if you ever go to one, maybe record yourself, um, see how you feel after that and write it down in a reflection journal. And, and that is it for my solo date um, by myself to the Candlelight Concert as well as the National Gallery. If 
you are going on a solo date also please let me know in the comments i would love to hear your stories see you